Hello everyone. My name is Muhammad Shahid Hamkar and I am from Afghanistan. I am faculty in the Department of Civil Engineering at Cardan University. I am also the founder of a private engineering consultancy. I have over five years of experience teaching, designing, consulting and managing civil engineering and related areas. In this short video, I will show you some practical examples of good and bad practices related to demolition work. Of course, these videos are solely for educational purposes and we are not criticizing anyone here. Okay, let's start with the first video. In this video, as you can see, the demolition is improper and risky because it can potentially cause damage to nearby structures. The workers are not using any PPE and the lives of workers are also at risk as this type of fall can trigger other structure members fall. Looking at these cracks over here, it looks like the whole building is not in good condition. The state of the building is so bad that they couldn't even remove these windows first. And you have to be very careful with the electric poles near the structure like the one here. And uh, these are some, some of the access equipment which one can use during the demolition work. This is called wrecking ball demolition and uh, the steel ball can weigh up to 6500 kg. So you can imagine its impact energy. You know that demolition is a highly destructive activity. In this video demolition is being carried out with other activities going on nearby. You can see the movement of vehicles around the area. Actually the entire area should have been isolated, barricaded and restricted from entering. So you have to be very careful and guard all the blind and hazardous spots of a machine. And uh, these are some of the equipment used for bricking and cutting concrete. In this video, again, the entire area should have been isolated. They should have stopped the traffic for some time or should have properly planned this. And uh, these are some of the tools used for cutting metal. Okay, uh, this is a practical example of a near miss. As you can see, the wall is being demolished without following any standard procedure. Even if it had to be demolished manually, the workers should follow a proper method. This demolition is totally unplanned and put the lives of the workers at risk of fatality. Also, uh, the workers are not using any PPE. In this video, the worker carries out the wall's demolition in the right way, but there is no regard for his own safety. It's like he is cutting the branch of the tree on which he is sitting. There is no scaffold or staging system to support him. And again, he is not using proper PPE and fall protection system or personal fall risk system. So this is not a good practice at all. Okay, in this video, as you can see, the sudden fall of the wall could have uh, triggered the fall of the floor on which it fell. The worker performing the demolition is not equipped for his uh, safety and uh, there is no measure for dust control. In this video, no dust control measures have been are taken even though the workers are near the demolition site. Also, a demolition of this left out part of the structure could endanger uh, the adjacent structures. In 
in this video the demolition is happening close to workers you can see how simply he is jacking up the whole brick wall uh, without taking any safety measures okay demolishing in this way can trigger the collapse of the entire structure at once due to the impact hence it can lead to the fatality of the workers working on the structural members without any support see how uh, these uh, workers are working at such height without using any uh, personal fall arrest system here the worker is wearing ppe but uh, he is working at the edge of the structure without fastening the harness hence the ppe will prove to be of no use in case of a fall and i think work harder is good but uh, you have to be smart enough so work smarter is better here you can see that someone only destructed the columns at specific points let me show you that uh, i am talking about these points and uh, because the columns are no longer able to resist the load the structure collapses in this uh, demolition the problem is that the collapse might happen during the destruction of those columns i mean when the person uses hammers or drillers and it might lead to injury or fatality and uh, no measure to control the dust is another big problem here okay this is an example of a building implosion in a building implosion the strategy is to place the explosive materials and uh, timing of its uh, detonation and then detonate so that the structure collapses on itself uh, please uh, note that these blue objects are some water containers and uh, what they did is that they uh, exploded these water containers first as you can see here and then the structure to minimize dust these uh, areas i mean uh, openings are wrapped with fabrics to avoid flying concrete and you have to be even more careful when you demolish pre-stress concrete members some of the important considerations that must be taken into account when planning a building or other structures implosion or controlling fly the detonation of charges crowd control dust control and cleanup that's it uh, thank you